still happening. Yeah, where the tr- where the trees were killing people. <laughs> Wait, how how good do you know that movie? I've seen it. You want you want to do a little movie review on that? I don't know it that well. I mean, you gotta know. I mean, there's not much to know about the movie. Yeah, it's. Ret- I mean, the tree, the wind comes, it blows the pollen <laughs> from the trees, and it makes people want to kill themselves. No, but what I what I want to ask you is, how did you like the manner of which they which they were killing themselves? That's the most gruesome ways to die ever. But I just like some of them were just absolutely like hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and the guy drove the car into the tree. The <laughs> Like, like, all right. How about John Leguizamo as uh, a mathematician? Yeah. And he and he he kept putting these like these uh, probability on everything. Like how how is he coming up with those numbers? <laughs> like I think that was great because I'm a person that uh that you know is involved with numbers all day long. So when I hear something like that, I wanna I wanna know how he gets it. Joke. And he'll just be like, he'll be like, there's like a 62 percent chance that my wife is alive in Princeton. Could you imagine? Now you have this guy, a mathematician. He's coming up with all these crazy probabilities, and you know, I like, you know, I I have to know what type of equation he was using. But could you imagine people are dying, and he just goes to you and he goes, "There's a seventy-five percent chance that your sister is dead in New Jersey." <laughs> <laughs> My initial response would be like, "How did you get that number? Yeah. How did you come and and they give no explanation how he's coming up with those stats? Like nothing. Like there's not there's no like report." Like, I can understand if they were like, there's a 62% chance that I hit this area, and if it's a woman, there's 30% chance it's going to hit. Like, I can understand that, but there was literally nothing, and this guy was just dishing out all these numbers, and he was doing it to comfort people. I think he was just confusing people. I love, I love fake stats. Love them. <laughs> right. Love fake stats. Okay. Why? Because they're great. I love when people just make up shit. And tell you these stats, but they're so confident in what they're saying, like like was on in that movie. Yeah, like you just you just think that you probably you do that to me all day long. Yeah. Though. Like all there's a seventy three percent chance <laughs> that I'm getting pizza today for lunch. Uh, all right, so wait, but I have a I have a battle. I want I want to stick on this movie though. Yeah. So of all the deaths, what what was your favorite death in the happening? Um, there has to be one that like stuck out where you were like, that's great. Like I was like hysterical laughing. They didn't like five people kill themselves with the same gun. They just kept on picking. Yeah, up. they kept picking up the gun and just shooting themselves it's in the ridiculous. head. Ridiculous. I just I, I <laughs> that's some that's some uh, thing. My personal favorite was when the guy gets in the lion uh, cage. Do you remember yeah, that? It was so stupid. He gets in the lion cage and he's just petting both lions and they rip his arms off. <laughs> but it was great because they're like, "Hey guys, watch the TV. Look at this." Now, I want you to imagine now, at that point, they didn't realize what was going on. They didn't know that people were killing themselves because of, like, the air or whatever whatever the hell it was. Like, what do you do? Like, Channel 7 News broadcasts that. Like, a man looking at a camera and petting a tiger until they just maul him. Why did the tigers maul him? He was petting them. <laughs> but, but you know what's funny? I think that the way how the news is now, that would definitely be something that would be reported easily. You cannot watch the news for more than three minutes. They'd give it a, they'd give it a cute headline. <laughs> <laughs> like, Kitty's Play Day. <laughs> play at the zoo. What about that construction worker? Where the one guy jumps off, and then he looks up, and they all start, they're all jumping off. Like, yeah. uh, could you imagine if he was just like, man, I didn't think that salary cut was going was gonna to hurt them this bad, especially in this bad economy. And they're all just running off the roof.